The previous week was crucial for the UK. At the beginning of the week, the country witnessed a new prime minister elected. But the difference this time around was they had to fly to Balmoral for the handover ceremony. We reported the event as and when it happened. We also highlighted how the prime minister, Liz Truss, and Boris Johnson acted as quote-unquote climate criminals by taking separate chartered flights to reach the same destination. And now it seems the criticism reached the corridors of London. The UK is mourning the loss of its longest reigning monarch. Queen Elizabeth II's funeral will be held on the 19th of September. The day will see dignitaries from across the world flying to London to offer their respects to the late Queen. And ahead of that day, the UK government has reportedly issued special VIP guidelines. It says foreign heads of state arriving for the Queen's funeral must travel by bus to Westminster Abbey rather than using private cars. According to reports, the heads of state have also been urged to take commercial flights rather than their private airplanes to avoid chaos at the London airport. The UK government has also ruled out the use of private helicopters flying leaders in due to an expectedly large volume of guests. The countries could also be asked to keep their delegations as small as possible. Simply put, funeral invitations are limited ideally to the head of state and their spouse, not with the family or staff. Note here that this is a state funeral. The planning, the invites, the execution all rests with number 10. That is the British government and not the royal family. And our London correspondent Alex Isaac with us from London. She's been tracking all those developments. Alex, the rules are strict and uh, most probably they will be posing a problem for these leaders flying in, including the U.S. President Joe Biden. Uh, help us piece together the reactions that you have been uh, gathering and the way things stand at the moment, how it's being perceived. Well, you're right there. It has been a bit of a logistical nightmare for a government to try and figure out all of these heads of states that come in. What we're expecting is about 100 kings, queens and heads of states. As you rightly say, heads of states were already asked to bring their spouse rather than an entourage. Now, that uh, leak earlier from the company Politico magazine suggested that all of the dignitaries will be taken from a secret location in West London and then brought by coach here to Westminster. However, the government has now said that that was not the case. And uh, they've said to the Times newspaper that it would be impossible to try and ask all of the G7 leaders to get on a bus and to get here. And also for the security concerns that that would follow. However, those strict rules will still be in place with regards to taking commercial flights and trying to use pool private jets where possible. They're saying that if dignitaries have to take private jets, then they're asking them to at least go to an airport that is quiet or again private, and then they won't be taking helicopters into the city themselves. It's obviously a huge security issue. We're having so many dignitaries coming to one place at one time, and this hasn't actually been seen since Winston Churchill's funeral, and that was back in 1965. So there's a lot to work on. But generally, the public has seemed very excited as well as somber because obviously this is a funeral and it's going to happen on Monday but also the excitement of seeing a new king in place as well and of course we'll be seeing all of that come together as the week goes on. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.